Dear students, welcome to the video, The Chain Rule. Sometimes you will see some composite functions uh, given to differentiate. Look at this example. For example, y is equal to 3x minus 2 to the power of 7. In order to differentiate this expression, you know, one way is to expand using binomial expansion. Then when you get the result, uh, which will be, you know, term by term, a power uh, function actually you can differentiate one by one which will be really time consuming but there is another uh, you know efficient uh, method available to be used to differentiate such functions now which is called chain rule now in the chain rule we actually consider this uh, function instead of a function in terms of x we consider y f as a function in terms of u what is u now let u be 3x minus 2 then y will be u to the power of 7 so y has changed from a function in terms of x to a function in terms of u uh, in which u is 3x minus 2. Now, what does chain rule say? Actually, chain rule says that when you want to function uh, to differentiate a function in terms of x, which is expressed in terms of u, you first differentiate with respect to u, then multiply it by uh, differentiation of u, which is the expression in terms of x. As if you know, these uh, du and du cancel out each other so what you have left is dy dx at the end now it is a chain rule but uh, you know let me put it in this way when you have in general for you know this formula that i'm going to say works for these uh, functions in which uh, you have an expression in brackets then to the power of uh, any number like n when you have when you have y is equal to u to the power of n where u is an expression in terms of expression in terms of x after using the chain rule you will get you know such formula as differentiation first as you know for power function it is multiplied by power then uh, one is subtracted from the power but the difference is that here one uh, more expression is uh, to be multiplied which is the uh, differentiation of this u so it will be u prime u to the power of n minus one so it is the formula can be implemented here now uh, let's differentiate this um, given function as an example 3x minus 2 to the power of 7 now using this formula so differentiation will be so what does the formula say it says uh, bring the power multiply by power then u prime u prime you know here in this example u is 3x minus 2 it is your u so 3x minus 2 what is the differentiation of uh, 3x minus 2 is 3 so it is multiplied by 3 then the same expression uh, with uh, 1 subtracted from the power which is 6 so it will be 21 3x minus 2 to the power of 6 as the differentiation of this binomial now uh, let's look at some more examples now example 1, find the derivative of y, uh, y is equal to 2 over 3x squared plus 1 to the power of uh, 5. Now if you consider, let u be 3x squared plus 1, it is the u in terms of x. So then what is u prime? Differentiation of 3x squared is 6x, differentiation of 1 is 0. So uh, y, then y, which is uh, 3 over 3x squared plus 1 to the power of 5 will be 
Uh, now uh, I transfer this expression from denominator to numerator. It can be written as 3x squared plus 1 to the power of negative 5 in which uh, this 3x squared plus 1 has been considered as u so it will be 3u to the power of negative 5 now I rewrite the formula uh, for these types of functions u to the power of n when you want to differentiate differentiation will be multiplied by power then differentiation uh, sorry u prime then one subtracted from the power so y prime will be equal to now uh, it is 3 u to the power of negative 5 so it will be uh, minus 5 then uh, 3 uh, u prime u to the power of uh, minus 5 minus 1 which is minus 6 now what was u prime u prime was actually we found it here differentiation of 3x squared plus 1 which is 6x so it will be negative 15 uh, these two are multiplied by each other so u prime was 6x then uh, u which is uh, 3x squared plus 1 to the power of negative 6 now you can simplify it will be negative 80x um, sorry 90x over now i transfer this binomial to the uh, denominator with positive power 3x squared plus 1 to the power of positive 6 it is uh, the final answer example 2 it says that the curve y is equal to root ax plus b passes through the point 12 and 4 and has gradient 1 over 4 at this point find the value of a and b now uh, first as uh, it says uh, this point 12 and 4 uh, lies on this curve so you can easily simplify actually substitute uh, 12 and 4 as x and y respectively uh, to make one equation y is 4 is equal to x is 12 so 12a plus b now i label it equation 1 now, uh, one more point, it says gradient is 1 over 4. So I differentiate it. I first change the 4, y is equal to ax plus b to the power of half. Now, uh, I label this uh, ax plus b as u. So u will be ax plus b. Then y will be u to the power of half. Again, I write the formula chain for chain rule uh, u to the power of n. It will be n u prime u to the power of n minus 1. Now, as u is ax plus b, then u prime will be a uh, because differential constant number is uh, 0. So then u prime will be here power is multiplied 1 over 2 differentiation u prime u to the power of 1 over 2 minus 1 which is negative half uh, then it will be equal to 1 over 2 u prime was a then multiplied by uh, i transfer uh, to the denominator it will be positive power it will be a over 2 root a a u sorry or you can say a over 2 uh, root u u was uh, actually a x plus b so i label it uh, a x plus b As it says differentiation gradient which is equal uh, actually the differentiation at the given point uh, the given point x coordinate is 12 so it means that if x is 12 m will be 1 over 4 so 1 over 4 which is gradient is equal to a 12 uh, x is uh, 12 so I can write 12 a plus b now it is equation number 2 now uh, using both uh, equations uh, 1 and 2 together so uh, as you see here 
and root 12a plus b is actually 4 so I replace it so 1 over 4 is equal to a over 8 you have a 2 multiplied by 4 so if you do cross multiplication 8 will be 4a then a will be 2 now as a is uh, 2 replace in one of the equations I replaced it here so using equation 1 you will have uh, 4 is equal to 12 times 2 which is a plus b or you can say that 24 plus b I squared both sides is equal to 16 then b will be negative 8 so a is 2 and b is negative 8 Thank <laughs> you.